So another major retailer here in the United States is planning on closing down. They're gonna close down more than 500 locations and this is gonna impact almost 5,000 people. These 5,000 people will be out of a job within the next six weeks. Now I wanna explain what's going on here, why this is such a big deal. And even if you do not shop at one of these locations, it doesn't matter. I do not shop at this store now. I did in the past, but I don't shop at this store now, but it will still impact me and my financial uh, decisions. So I'll break down what's going on in just a moment, but all I ask for is one thing. It takes two seconds, go ahead, Hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So everybody as of right now is talking about a retail apocalypse. This is gonna impact millions and millions of people. If you shop at Target, you will be impacted. If you shop at JCPenney, you will be impacted. Even if you shop at Walmart, you will be impacted. But I wanna read you some of this story. This is coming out of the, the US Sun. Look at this. It says, Rue the day. Major retailer will close all 540 stores within six weeks after filing for bankruptcy and launches a huge liquidation sale. Now, I will address the store in just a moment. You guys may already know, but the key here is they are going to launch a huge liquidation sale this is why it's going to impact every single one of us is because once this store liquidates their items this is going to cause other stores to have to cut prices or they will not sell their goods let's keep reading this article and i'll explain what's going on it says a clothing retailer has entered bankruptcy and bosses and nails plan to close all 540 remaining stores within six weeks. The liquidation sales will be held at Rue 21 outlet across the U.S. as bosses rat rush to clear the last remaining stock. If you don't know what Rue 21 is, they're more of a, they're known for like teenage clothing. They have some, uh, a lot of it has, you know, print like this and, you know, different, uh, you know, items and slogans and sayings and, and a lot of their stuff is pretty expensive, like these shirts, 10 bucks. I remember when uh, I used to shop there, you could get those those shirts for you know, 250, right? They're, they're cheap. They're the cheapest shirts you could find. But this store is going out of business. This is about what we're gonna see. We're gonna see stores like this, Rue 21, closing, this location only. You're gonna see 40% off, 60% off, 75% off, probably up to 90% off all these items. Here's why it's turning into a big issue. Number one, 540 locations are going to go out of business. That means 540 retail locations will be done. Not just from the, the business side, but what about the real estate side? That means that that uh, commercial real estate building, okay, that commercial building, that maybe it's a mall, maybe it's a shopping center. Now they're potentially going to have one less tenant. That means the landlord is going to make a little bit less money. There's already a lot of issues going on right now that, especially with landlords, that if you are not getting you know the most money possible for your locations, well, you could potentially be upside down anyway. And then what do you do? You sell the entire complex? Okay, that's just going down that road. But let's talk about the the five uh, the five thousand. Or actually, here it is right here. It says the chain has five hundred forty stores across the U.S. and forty nine hundred workers are set to be impacted. What happens when forty nine hundred people that work in in clothing and retail they go and find a new job? Let's say at Macy's, yeah, at J.C. Penney. Well, first off, those stores don't need uh, 5,000 new workers. But what happens when they start looking for that job? They go and put in applications and they're, they're talking to managers and stuff like that. Well, the problem there 
is then now those workers that are already in those stores, they have more competition. So wages are actually going to go down, not up. Wages are going to go down. So this major retailer um, who they're, they're having a very tough time and they have, but this is their third time in less than 25 years that Route 21 has entered bankruptcy. This time will probably be the last of it. But the reason why I bring this up is because we are going to see this not just in Route 21. This is, yes, this is a very specific store, Route 21. But what about when uh, malls start to experience this exact same thing? What about when Spencer's goes out of business? What about when, you know, what, Zoomies, right? What about when all these other, these other businesses, very uh, niche specific, they start going out of business because number one, they can't compete with wages, the higher cost of goods. People just don't have the money right now, so they're not purchasing anything. What happens then? What I can tell you right now is this is just the beginning. We have seen the writing on the wall. This is just the beginning. Now, one other thing I wanna to bring to your attention is that when a company closes, a business closes like Route 21, First off, they are going to flood the market uh, you know, with very inexpensive clothing. 540 locations are going to close. They're going to liquidate everything, potentially up to 90% off. What's gonna happen is we are gonna see people are not gonna be buying clothing at Walmart. Why would they go spend six to $10 on a shirt when they could buy the same or maybe an even better shirt at Route 21 for between two to let's say four dollars. Why would you spend double the amount of money to go spine, go and buy a similar shirt? You won't. And so, if you are near a Route 21 and you are looking for clothing, well, there you go. Just wait because as soon as they start to liquidate their inventory, you can get a discount. So that right there, it's going to impact Walmart. It's going to impact Target. Okay. We're going to see this impact stores like Ross. We're going to see it impact Marshalls and TJ Maxx and places like that, who as of right now are still having a somewhat difficult time. And so just understand that you may not shop at Rue 21. That's fine. I don't either. But the other stores that I do shop at, like Marshalls, just think about that for a second. These items at Marshalls, People are, especially you know, teenagers you know, or young adults, are likely to go to Rue 21, purchase items there for less than going to Marshalls. But here's where it gets very interesting, is what's gonna happen at Marshalls or at uh, Ross is that some of those items are not gonna sell. They're gonna sit there for a little bit longer because people are not buying them. They already purchased items from another store that just went under. So here's what's gonna happen as Ross and Marshalls and TJ Maxx uh, have less people going in shopping for those types of clothing. The clothing that Marshalls and Ross and TJ Maxx actually do have, they're gonna have to liquidate eventually, which means they will have less money. That means even when those items sell, the stores are gonna make less money or they will lose money on those items. Think about that because this is the exact same road that Route 21 has went down. They're not making much money or they're making no money actually losing. And so eventually they have to shut down. Again, the third bankruptcy in the past 25 years. So just wanna leave you with that. But again, if you shop at Route 21, then well, I'm sorry, but this store is going to go out of business very soon. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you right now is this is just the beginning. We are gonna see some major retailers shut their doors because they are no longer profitable and they have to get out before things get worse. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is I will be here every step of the way. I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates, but that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next 